Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord? Well, come on. It's time for Moed Sharaka, the appointed time of refreshing. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. To the Lord. The word of the Lord is coming from the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 25 to 31. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, about three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came to them walking on the water. When the disciples saw him, they screamed in terror, thinking he was a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. It's all right, he said, I'm here, don't be afraid. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, Tell me to come to you by walking on water. All right, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he looked around at the high waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Instantly, Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed him. You don't have much faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? And the note says... Peter was not putting Jesus to the test, something we are told not to do. Instead, he was the only one in the boat to react in faith. His impulsive request led him to experience a rather unusual demonstration of God's power. Peter started to sink because he took his eyes off Jesus and focused on the high waves around him. His faith wavered when he realized what he was doing. We probably will not walk on water, but we may walk through tough situations. If we focus on the waves of difficult circumstances around us without faith in Jesus to help us, we too may despair and sink. To maintain your faith when situations are difficult, focus on Jesus' power rather than on your inadequacies. Although we start out with good intentions, sometimes our faith falters. This doesn't necessarily mean we have failed. When Peter's faith faltered, he reached out to Christ, the only one who could help. He was afraid, but he still looked to Christ. When you are apprehensive about the troubles around you and doubt Christ's presence or ability to help, remember that he is always with you and is the only one who can really help. My beloved, my dear brothers and my sisters, be encouraged today and be reminded that Jesus Christ is a very present help in times of trouble. That Christ calls us. He wants us to walk in faith. He wants us to walk in the supernatural. Just like Peter said, Jesus, if it's really you, bid me to come. But wait a minute. Jesus was coming to them walking on the water. He was demonstrating what was possible. And in that possibility, Peter grabbed hold to faith and said, if that's really you, bid me to come. I want to remind you, first of all, that Christ is saying, I am here. Don't be afraid because the disciples were in the boat. And they were afraid. They thought it was a ghost. But I want you to remember that Christ, he is right there. He's a very present help in times of trouble. So my dear beloved brothers and sisters, come on. I dare you. I challenge you. Take that leap of faith. Come on out the boat. Put your eyes on Jesus. Because he's saying, come on, my child. Come on, my daughter. Come on, my son. Come on and walk. Walk in the supernatural. Peter walked on the word. The word that Jesus said, okay, come on. Jesus has given us a word. <laughs> we got the 66 books of the Bible. Walk on that word. 
I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. And beloved, above all, I would that you would prosper, be in health, even as your soul do, doth prosper. Walk on that word. Although you don't see it, walk on the word that you heard Christ say. The man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Whatever God has said he will do, but we must apply the faith. Walk on that word. Walk that word out. Jesus is bidding you today. Come, my son. Come, my daughter. Come. Trust me. Peter began to sink only when he took his eyes off Jesus. I'm encouraging you today. Keep your eyes fixed and focused on Jesus Christ the author and finisher of your faith, the one that will perfect those things that concern you. Walk out on the word. Walk it out. Keep your eyes focused on Christ. And the times that you falter, David said, what time I am afraid I will trust in you. Just as Peter said, Lord, Lord, save me. He start looking around him. Don't look at your situation. Don't look at your circumstance. Don't look at your bank account. Don't look at your bills. Look at the promise keeper. Look at Jehovah Jireh. Look at Jehovah Nisi. Look at Jehovah Shalom. Look to the Lord our God who is able to do all things abundantly, exceedingly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. So again, I encourage you. I dare you. Come on. Get to walking on water. Walk in the supernatural. Walk out the word of God. He's right there. He promised never to leave you nor forsake you. He, he, he's able to keep you from falling. Peter was going down, but he was able to say, Jesus, help me. And he reached out his hand immediately and pulled him up. And he said, why did you doubt? Why don't you believe me? Uh, God is saying to somebody, why did you doubt? You were walking on water. You were believing me. But you retracted your statement. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The scripture says in James, don't even think about it. Don't even think that you'll receive anything from the Lord. Don't be unstable. Like the, the waves that toss to and fro. But be firmly fixed just like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You may bend, but you won't break. You may sway from side to side, but as you're swaying, say, Lord, you're able, Lord, you're able, Lord, you're able. I thank you in advance for doing it. Meditate on the word of God day and night because God's word will not return unto him void. So speak it. The angels move at the word of God to bring it to pass. So I encourage you, my brothers. I'm encouraging you, my sisters. Speak the word. Walk out the word. Walk on the word. Not on our word, not on my word, but on the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away before one jot or tittle of his word will fall to the ground. He will establish it. He will bring it to pass. And I'm decreeing suddenly, suddenly, for miracle signs and wonders breaking out and breaking forth in your life. But all God needs you to do is to release your faith. Hold on. Help is on the way. Come on, let's pray. Father, Father, in the mighty, precious name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, that you are always with us. Thank you for being our God, being our Jehovah Gabor, the Lord God that rescues us and saves us. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We repent of our sins. Forgive us for undoubt, for our doubt and unbelief. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy upon us according to thy loving kindness, according to thy multitude of grace and mercy. Blot out our transgressions, O oh God. Forgive us of every sin. Father, we ask that you would work in us and work through us. Father, we accept the challenge lord we accept your bidding we accept the invitation to walk in the supernatural to walk on water god 
We ask that you would help us. Help us, Lord, that we will walk in the Spirit and that we will keep our eyes fixed firmly on you. We want to be fixed and firmly planted on you, Lord God. So, Father, today we release our faith. We release and we decree and agree and we partner with heaven today. We decree thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, you said in your word, beloved, above all that you wish that we would prosper, be in health, even as our soul does prosper. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree that we prosper, our souls prosper, and we are in good health. Oh, God, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for your word that every promise in you is yes and amen. Every promise in you is yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. Every promise in you is yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. Every promise in you is yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yes. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Such an awesome privilege to be invited to walk with you. So, Father, we say yes. We agree with you. Yes, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth in our lives. Father, we crown you as Lord of our lives. And we thank you because you are Lord of our lives. You reign sovereign. We are your domain. We are your territory. And in your territory, in your territory, your domain, in your location of influence, there is no sickness. There is no poverty. There is no sadness. We are your domain. You are our king. So rule over us. Reign over us. Let your influence be over us, God. Release your healing virtue in the body of Christ, in the sons of God. God, we just give you glory. We give you honor. We praise you for the suddenlies, God. We praise you for living under an open heaven. We thank you for miracle signs and wonders in our lives. We decree manifestation of your glory. We decree manifested miracles manifested miracles signs and wonders we decree manifested miracle signs and wonders in the lives of your people God oh God we release our faith and we connect and partner with you and God even as in the Tower of Babel you said because the people of, of are of one mind that there is nothing that they will not be able to accomplish so, Father, because we partner with heaven, hallelujah, it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. The healing's done. Deliverance is done. Redemption is done. The battle is won because it's done. 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 Oh, hallelujah. It's done. Oh, hallelujah. It's done. I'm decreeing and declaring in your life. It's done. It's done. God has done it. God has done it. Open your eyes and see it. Open up your eyes and declare and decree that God has set me free. God has delivered. God has done it. Grab hold of faith. It's done. Hallelujah. Oh, it is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. Hallelujah. God, I thank you right now for the testimonies of healing, the testimonies of miracles, signs, and wonders. 
We come against the spirit of doubt, fear, and unbelief, and we loose it off of your people now and release the spirit of faith. We partner with you, heaven. Ah, oh, God, thank you that the Supreme Court of Heaven has issued a verdict. And that verdict is, it is finished. <laughs> it is finished. It is accomplished. It is done. Ah, ya na robo shererebeha. Roku maseke. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for your verdict, God. The verdict is, it is done. The verdict is, it is finished. The battle is won. Hallelujah. And it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Miracle signs and wonders. Open your eyes and see it. Take up your bed and walk. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take up your bed and walk. Daughter, take up your bed and walk. Son of God, take up your bed and walk. It's done. You are made whole, hallelujah, according to your faith. God, I thank you right now for miracles, signs, and wonders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Not by my power, not by my might, not by my words, oh God, but the words that are coming out of my mouth that you have empowered. Ah, oh God, I thank you that you are anointing these words and not one word shall fall to the ground. I thank you, God, for testimonies that will come in, that even in watching this recording, Lord God, that people will give the reply, this is the miracle that has been wrought in my life, that God made a way, that God healed. I thank you right now, God. I thank you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, I'm excited today. I'm excited. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I'm excited for what God has done and what he is doing in your life. Make sure you type out in that reply. Come on and give God the glory for the miracle. Hallelujah. Of your healing, of your deliverance, of your financial breakthrough of your mental breakthrough, of your emotional breakthrough. Thank God for that one coming back to Christ, the backslider coming back to Christ. Hallelujah. We welcome you back in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Your place is right there. God have kept it warm right there for you. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear what God has done in your life. Well, this has been Moet Shelraga the appointed time of refreshing. Continue to be blessed, revived, and refreshed. Glory to God in the presence of the Lord. Remember, in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Everything that you need is in the presence of the Lord. Be blessed. Shalom. Ooh, ooh, ooh.